We end tonight in Howard Lake, Minnesota. Like small towns all across America, it bears the scars of lives lost, of lives lost in faraway wars. But now, a chance discovery overseas is offering a clue into a hometown boy's fate. John Lordson of CBS station WCCO has the story. He was just an all-around, you might say, country boy. Though their time together was short, Burton Horse remembers his uncle Harlan Malinsky as kind, caring, and hardworking. He was a farm boy. Yeah. He helped my folks. He helped my folks a lot. Like so many young men, during World War II, Malinsky found himself far away from the farm, fighting for his country overseas. In May of 1944, his patrol came under attack by German soldiers near Etri, Italy. They went out on patrol, and he was the first man out. And when they all came back, he never came back. Well, the first thing that happened is we were getting mail returned. We got mail returned before we got the official notice that he was missing. The letters started coming back. The family even received a letter from one of his squad mates saying they searched for days with no luck. But they never gave up hope. And nearly eight decades after Malinsky disappeared, his family finally caught a break. <laughs> Can he wait? And uh, it's pretty sure it's a, it's a piece of bomb. It's not unusual for Rodrigo Bastoni to find World War II relics on his family's Etri farm. But in April, he made a discovery unlike any other. While walking along a path, he stumbled upon Harlan's dog tag. I just uh, picked it up uh, from the ground. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Rodrigo did an internet search and found a local newspaper article about Harlan Malinsky's grave marker. That's when he decided to send the dog tag back. He just knew that he had to try and get it home, and it is. It's about 77 years to the date that he went missing that we got this. If his remains are eventually found, Harlan's family would like them brought back here and buried at his family's cemetery plot in Howard Lake. It was wind, rain, or fate itself that allowed Rodrigo to make this discovery. I'm really proud of it, and uh, I never expect I, I have to do something like that. The family is grateful. After almost 80 years, they have closure. So a part of him has come home. For CBS News, I'm John Lordson in Howard Lake, Minnesota. His service will never be forgotten. That's the news this Saturday. Tomorrow, don't forget Sunday morning with Jane Pauley.